Welcome to FreeDU Hub and today as part of our last lecture on cloud computing we'll be looking at the future of the cloud. Now the uh, key concepts that we'll be covering in this chapter would be augmented reality, blockchain, uh, hologram, intelligent fabrics and then Internet of Things, location aware applications, smart appliances and then the social media, thin operating systems and war driving. The learning objectives would be, we'll describe the Internet of Things and its influence to the cloud. We'll describe how cloud would influence the future operating systems. Then we'll uh, see how cloud enables the location of air applications and cloud would change the way people watch TV. It even helps us or would uh, we'll cover that how it enabled the use of intelligent fabric and enable the communication among the smart devices. We'll describe how the cloud will drive the mobile solutions and mobile solutions will drive the cloud. We'll describe the role of home-based clouds as well. Now, first of all, if we'll see the future of cloud throughout the course or in this textbook, we examined the most recent cloud-based solutions and application with many cloud um, solutions already uh, seeming quite cutting edge. It's hard to imagine how the cloud will evolve in the near term. And ever since you have seen the evolution in the artificial intelligence with chat GPT and other things, we can see a lot of potential in using the cloud for our day to day activities. Over the past 10 years, users have connected billions of devices from personal assistants, from Amazon Alexa, streaming video cameras, smartphone devices, internets to create the Internet of Things, etc. Now, if we'll talk about the Internet of Things, today users connect to a wide range of devices to the Internet, such as streaming videos or the uh, surveillance cameras, doorbells, security systems, smartphone lights, thermostats. You might have heard of BNB as well. Now, we are able to um, manage all that using the IoT technology. Such devices communicate over the Internet using the Wi-Fi connection to create what users refer to as Internet of Things. So um, these are the devices which are connected to the Internet. Even at uh, sitting at a remote address, you can look who, what's going on inside your house. Um, if the lights are on or off or if you are leaving from your office, you can turn on the lights or turn off the lights, turn on the aircon and all those things by IoT technology. My dev many devices that connect to IoT store data such as videos, photos or the uh, related stuff in the cloud. As you can see that these are some of the examples that we have smart uh, IoT chips in uh, smart cars, um, even the surveillance cameras, doorbells, uh, smart appliances and even the medical equipment and the lighting system which is used in houses. Now, there are some risks also associated with the IoT devices. Um, a hacked medical device that connects to the IoT can have devastating results because um, now the other person will have complete access to what's going on in your house. Now, hackers have been able to hack into smart cars to leverage the IoT. The billion of devices that connect to IOC, IoT are um, each individual targets for the hackers. Now, uh, they are targeting specific kind of applications, depends uh, what is their prime target, and the users fear that the hackers may have access to the devices in a way that allows the hackers to eavesdrop on the users throughout the devices like Alexa and other things. Even if those devices are compromised, um, these hackers can sit at home and they can watch what's going on inside your home using the cameras which are installed in your house. So much so, they will be able to even control the cameras which are there in PS4 and Xbox, etc. The ability to hack into a smartphone device may create a new set of ransomware attacks as well. Now we covered war driving earlier. It's a devices that normally connect to IoT over the Wi-Fi connection. A hacker who can connect to um, underlying Wi-Fi may be able to access the connected devices uh, just by scanning that which devices are available and which devices are using obsolete or quite weak authentication mechanisms and they can be easily targeted. Hackers often use the technique called war, drive, um, war driving to drive through the neighborhood and search for any open Wi-Fi connections or the weak connections which are having a very simple password or the uh, security mechanism which is adopted for a Wi-Fi if it is very weak that would be the prime target for the hackers. Now to enhance the security of IoT devices 
user should connect them to secure Wi-Fi networks and use strong username and passwords and make sure that they are changing the passwords from time to time basis that if somehow um, if you're not even aware and your uh, account or uh, the username and password um, has been compromised they'll not be able to access it if you have a habit of changing it uh, quite frequently now revisiting the past predi um, predictions you can search uh, you can find the statistics uh, from the Pew Research Center they have uh, lots of white papers available and reports related to the material uh, where we can find out the information about the cloud in the future as well now how the cloud would change the operating systems um, it exists to allow the users to run the programs and store and retrieve the data from one uh, session to the next now most server operating systems now support and will continue to support hypervisors that allow multiple and possibly different operating systems to run simultaneously so we are heavily using um, uh, the uh, cloud based technology and we have lots of hands on exercises on our channel as well where we are showing um, a different hands-on practices that we can do on cloud computing where we use hypervisors and we uh, created different virtual machines and how can we manage it virtualized servers will continue to play a large role in the driving uh, uh, the behind the scene operating in the cloud because before we used to have individual servers now we can have one big host and in that we can have multiple um, operating systems running regardless of the um, the kind of operating system it could be windows linux uh, macintosh um, even android can be installed so it depends what kind of virtualized servers are there and uh, what is your requirement as in organization many organizations are going to an operating system on demand model for which servers download you a user's operating system applications and environment settings to a PC um, uh, when he logs in so he'll have everything ready based on the requirements of an individual user with the advent of more programs that run within the browser there are um, or maybe much less need for the powerful desktop operating system since we are relying on most of the services which are available in the cloud so if we'll take an example of google cloud most of the applications that we use for example in google cloud we can use uh, google docs and google sheets etc which are compatible with microsoft word and po um, uh, word powerpoint and even excel so instead of downloading those applications you can open them in the application which is provided by Google uh, same goes for Microsoft they have their own uh, office 365 suite with the help of which you don't need to install Microsoft Office on your PC and you can perform all the operations related to Word Excel PowerPoint etc directly from the browser rather it adds more features to it that a, a collaboration tool is there where multiple users can log into the same Excel sheet or a Word document and they can simultaneously Simultaneously work on a do document to achieve the targets so if you doubt that statement note that the rapid user adaption of smartphones that feature scale down to the operating system and the applications that we are using now location aware applications are the ones which uh, are able to locate our location based on the GPS coordinates a location aware application utilizes the data from global positioning system built into the mobile phones to integrate an individual's location on processing and it performs different operations as GPS capabilities are built into more devices application will continue to deliver more location based or aware solutions as we have seen that these applications are heavily used by uber kareem and all other um, either delivery services or the cab services online uh, with the help of which you can easily send your location or you can share the delivery location of the parcels at your doorstep now today for example users can run applications such as around me to find the restaurants and hotels and other businesses near their current location likewise users make extensive use of the applications like google maps and real-time driving directions and applications such as uber leverage the ups card gps coordinates etc um, it is easy to request the transportation from your current location so you don't need to walk till the end of the street you'll send the location exactly right outside your 
house and you'll be able to um, enjoy the services provided by them in future using the cloud and location aware uh, solutions you'll be able to track not only the package of your shipment etc but also stolen cars lost baggage misplaced cell phones missing parts and more so all these uh, different things would have gadgets installed with a small chip maybe an iot chip with the help of which um, we'll be able to locate all those things and um, they will be able to traceable through the internet now intelligent fabric and paints intelligent fabric will provide a wide range of services including automatically adjust the room temperature when body temperature becomes too warm or too cold so it would be monitoring the temperature of individuals itself and then it would automatically adjust the temperature which is quite comfortable to the users it would notify the rooms when we enter or leave that the lights music and other devices should be automatically controlled so if a person left the room and he forgot to switch off the lights or so, uh, he forgot to switch off the um, um, the for example uh, coffee maker or any other devices etc which are connected to the internet it would automatically take care of it it monitor the body functions such as the blood pressure blood sugar level stress and more and notify the person uh, to adjust the environment to affect these conditions now we have seen the technologies with the help of which um, the buy a wristband or a wristwatch um, we can monitor blood pressure sugar levels and other things related to us plus um, the persons who are into uh, workout etc um, they are even even keeping track of the uh, walking distances and how many any steps you have taken in a day so that um, you will have a clear picture of your uh, health condition and it would even recommend certain things to you notify others when an elderly person has fallen um, so sometimes uh, um, they are weak enough or they cannot even use the technologies to inform someone so um, the gadgets will be there with the help of which the person who is a caretaker of that person will be notified that um, a specific person needs a help it provides the deterrence against Against the mosquitoes and other insects as well um, so that would be an additional benefit of using this technology now continued expansion of the social media and the software applications etc such as Facebook Instagram and Twitter that allows the users to post their own content on the web is helping in being linked to your friends um, the friends which uh, uh, you lost connection with um, after your high school now these social media applications have combined them all together that now you can uh, find your friends of the high school even in the university etc over the past 10 years the use of social media has exploded now you have seen lots of different applications applications that we use on daily basis um, uh, which are quite helpful and it even helps people in interacting others learning new things even promoting their own businesses now across the web billions of users leverage social media tools to post the content to the web such content can range from vacation photos to recipes to political opinions etc so uh, it is even used for all sort of activities if you want to show in case the um, uh, the locations which you are visiting um, uh, the places that you like the best restaurants in the area um, the best food you can find or the best gadgets or the deals that you you will come across in future we should expect the use of social media to continue to grow driven by underlying metadata data about the data that includes geolocation and time of the information as well as machine learning that helps user customize the content they want to see and it's already happening just like if you are searching something on target.com or ebay.com and then if you'll go to facebook you'll see the results or the advertisements on your pages um, which uh, for the items which you were searching or target Target and eBay etc so they are keeping track of your interest and then targeting the ads um, uh, which you might be interested in now future of cloud TV as you have learned um, a, a company such as Hulu and then um, Netflix Amazon Prime have changed the way consumers watch TV with greater bandwidth available everywhere DVDs have fallen um, by the wayside so everyone is interested in watching these things um, through the platforms like Netflix Amazon Prime etc where all those latest seasons movies and uh, um, shows that you are interested in are available on demand not only the TV viewers watch uh, uh, shows on demand in their homes in their cars and other appliances but also new breed 
of projection devices will make the flat surface on the TV screen and you'll be able to connect. Now if you remember long time ago we used to have the antennas on the rooftop and then the time came for the dish antennas um, with the help of which we were able to get the channels and the sports activities uh, uh, to watch on televisions. Now everything is possible using the mobile phones. If we have a IPTV subscription on our mobile phones we can have a subscription which would support all the devices at home so even if you're traveling all you need is an internet connection and you can enjoy your uh, latest league matches or um, any movies etc while you are traveling now in future users will be able to interact with the content perhaps changing the outcome of a story in real time by curing the statistics um, on their tv and favorite sport player their statistics how they performed in the past year what's the history of it and all those other things now we have video games and augmented reality over the past 20 years the power and popularity of the video games have exploded. Today users interact with such games using a, um, a myriad of devices and pro sport teams and games players have emerged and people are more interested in playing these games online um, with a interface and uh, um, a 3D uh, version of the games is also available which would take you as if you are yourself inside there and you are interacting with the things. Augmented reality is a use of computer technology to enhance the items that exist in the real world. Uh, using augmented reality, a sport fan can watch a sporting event from the court side and the users can try on um, the glasses and clothes virtually um, and more. So you'll feel like as if you are standing there and you are actually playing those games. Even um, there are handheld devices that there will be a headset and handheld devices with the help of which you'll be controlling and it's not like um, the old consoles where you'll be sitting at your couch and you'll be spending all day playing games only. Now all these games are becoming very interactive that it would literally engage you physically uh, to uh, uh, play the games and to get involved in that. As you can so, uh, see this is a holographic fic um, a feature um, that can be used uh, uh, mostly used in a 3D format um, where in the uh, program you'll see a person but that person won't be there in person it's just a hologram um, which is displaying a person to be over there now future of smart devices for years uh, uh, futurist and the forecasted the day when the refrigerator would automatically create your grocery list and send it uh, to the store for the fulfillment etc now we are slowly moving towards that the cloud's ability to provide internet access any place and any time makes such processing a reality today those devices exist using a smart home controller um, user can easily control the lights temperature music um, oven should be turned on on or off and the uh, dinner is ready for a specific time so everything would be made ready before you'll uh, arrive at home now in future the capabilities of the device to device collaboration between such smart devices will only increase but the concern at the moment and in future would be there about the security of those devices for which um, the experts are working on so that they can make it so secure that um, the hackers will not be able to penetrate in those systems consider for example a common household appliance such as refrigerators, water heaters, wa dishwashers, cloth washers and dryers and so on. If these devices are replaced with smart appliances, uh, ones that are energy aware, they can control their uh, power demand and during the peak times and the process and can save a lot of money. Now the cloud and mobile, the cloud is going to and drive mobile applications as we learned earlier. Um, now uh, Novit mobile applications are driving the growth of the cloud. In either case, cloud-based mobile applications are going to be um, experienced in an explosive rate and we can see it now um, that all those latest applications, websites and um, even the, um, the home appliances that we are buying, uh, so much so I have seen different uh, uh, sneakers which you are buying from the market they are sending some statistics to the mobile phones and they are connected through that. Um, the future will provide greater access to and faster data communication. Um, the speeds to the device capabilities will continue to advance to enable the applications that integrate machine learning, artificial intelligence, enhance the ways how we use our mobile phones.
Now, when we are talking about all those technologies, how can we forget blockchain, um, which we have seen, um, which is providing a fail safe and very authentic mechanism in order to verify the payments and transactions. We have used its heavy utilization in cryptocurrencies, etc. Over the past few years, technology innovations such as cryptocurrency have filled the news now such technologies leverage blockchain uh, which you can think of as a cloud-based chain of records um, dated unchanged and and encrypted transactions which are called blocks so since they are encrypted um, there are very little chances that someone would try to take a benefit of it and they'll be able to modify the transactions such transactions might contain information about a car purchase, student transcript, patient health records, even it is used to send payments to different uh, parties. After a transaction is recorded in the blockchain, the transaction cannot be changed without impacting all the preceding transactions, which we call as blocks. Transactions within a blockchain reside in ledgers that reside within a peer-to-peer -peer network. It's just like a normal accounting principle that we follow in accounting best practices. Such networks can uh, be private such as business to uh, a specific chain or public such as which would require a Bitcoin currency uh, or any cryptocurrency that is available. In future, we should see the number of blockchain application extending to banking, uh, supply chain management, healthcare, voting and more. Now, faster time to market. The cloud streamliness, many uh, expensive and time-consuming development steps, companies are no longer have to raise the capital required to fund the large data center. Instead, they'll leverage their entire data center. For example, they'll be using a platform as a service. Further, companies no longer have to pay expensive upfront licensing fee for the various software tools such as database management system. Instead, they'll be leveraged to pay on-demand solutions because they'll be shifting to the cloud. Finally, companies no longer have to guess their site adaption rates so that they can provide the underlying computing resources. Instead, they can let their cloud-based applications scale to meet the needs. So you don't need to purchase expensive servers again. All you need to do is just ask for more resources so that you will be able to serve the demand at a specific moment of time. The net result is developers will real, um, release software solutions at a faster pace, bringing the solutions to the market that expects high functionality and on demand and low costs. Now that brings us to the end of the chapter. The summary is existing cloud solutions may seem cutting edge for the newcomers to the cloud. Existing technologies can utilize the cloud to communicate, coordinate, and develop the applications. Further, the cloud can take into account location, uh, body feedback, and more. Uh, the potential of the cloud is just beginning to form, and we'll see a huge impact of it, especially after the AI technology that we have seen in the market. The cloud is being integrated with the mobile devices, new operating systems, and smart appliances and devices. So I hope you like the course on cloud computing. That's it for today. Thank you very much.